What's up guys? On this video on Stuff with Steve, <laughs> we've got his 2010, right? Nine. Nine Challenger. Uh, it's a RT with a 5.7 and he's got some stuff going on with it. Um, he's got a whole channel which we'll link, which he has all the stuff on what happened to this car, but there, I don't know, do you want to tell a story or you want me to tell a story? Basically, uh, some kid wire stereo system had a 250 amp fuse in line. So I think he was trying to arc weld with the power wire and basically it shorted out and turned glowing red and caught the engine bay on fire right here and uh, burnt the windshield, burnt the uh, insulation pad here, uh, basically the whole engine harness, a couple coils got burnt. Uh, we have a pile of parts over there. So he's replaced most of everything over here and here is what used to be over there. So you can see it's just all burnt wiring. So that was all from like an aftermarket stereo that just short circuited stuff. I just changed this little guy out for him, but this whole plug was melted as well. So all that old stuff's coming out, but what we're gonna show you in today's video is he already took off the stock intake manifold. We've got this, which is probably why everybody's watching this video today. So what do we got? What's the official name again? The Holly Sniper Race Intake Manifold. So what makes it race, he was saying, is you can take the lid off, so if you wanted to get in there, you could probably do some porting or something like that, right? Uh, you could probably just get in and clean it if you need to and service it. So we are gonna slap this thing on. It's got the fuel rails on it. It's got the adapter that goes back into the stock um, fuel line, so you can use mm -hmm. your stock fuel line on it. So he's got that yeah. Earl's adapter on that side. Yeah, the Earl's quick disconnect. And I'm sure there's there's a crossover line, right? Yep. We have to install. So gotta hook that up once we put it on there. We got stock injectors. So we got the electric throttle body on there, and those two big snake octopus lines that he's dragging over there. Uh, one's gonna go to the brake booster, and the other one goes to PCB. You said, right? Uh, no, it's the evap. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Solenoid. That's what it is. So the, yeah, there's a little evap canister that sits over there. So we'll uh, show you guys the process. Like I said, full history on this car. This car's pretty. Looks pretty good now, but he was saying it didn't look this good before. This is the first time I've seen it. I've only seen it in pictures, but um, somebody painted this color. We're all ready for Mo Party, so we're going to get this thing ready to go, and uh, I'll see how she runs. just can't move it because of those oh, yeah, uh, gaskets. Hold it. Oh, I got one gasket falling out. All right, so we set it down. Um, we just had to make sure that all the rubber O-ring gaskets uh, were in place. And now we're just gonna put the bolts in and tighten it down. So right now we're just going on the crisscross pattern. It's in the instructions, 124 inch pounds what we're doing. Well, there we go, we cut the brake booster line to length. So we're gonna attach that one. We already did the whole sequence. So everything's tight on that intake manifold. Um, injectors are hooked up, coils are hooked up. The factory fuel line is hooked up. So you yep. clicked it in? Yep, it's clicked in. So I'm gonna do my side, and then he's got the crossover line here. So we'll get that on, and we'll click all our injectors in place here too. So Steve's throwing on the Delta Force, and we just tightened up the fuel line as well. So, And everything, as you can see, the intake bolts right up, so we didn't have to move anything or do anything. So. I'm gonna hook all these back up. Let's see here. Sensor. One down here. And then we're gonna go from here to here now. Make a line. And we should be ready to rock it. Heck yeah. Should is a key Alright, everything is connected. Um, we're gonna check for fuel pressure in a second. And we made sure to reconnect our map sensor on the back, and we should be good to go. You're not gonna start it, right? Yeah. Checking for a fuel pressure. No, no leaks. Let me check the other side. Yeah, you can cycle it. Nothing. I'll cycle it a few times. I don't see anything. I think we're all good, no fuel leaks. No, you're good. Send it.
she's running good. We're gonna go for a little test spin and uh, see how she feels. So that's a quick little drive for you guys. I think it made a huge difference. What do you think, Steve? Thumbs up. Two yeah. thumbs ups. So we've also been messing with the tune a little bit too. Uh, we raised the shift points and the RPM and stuff like that. Steve's gonna try and put some race gas in it this weekend, so we'll see what happens. But overall, I think it was a good install. Comment down below if you guys have any questions. We'll link that product down below if you guys wanna check it out. It honestly, like, it woke this little 5.7 up, so. I know we're saying a little 5.7, but it's like one of the smallest motors you can get uh, in the V8 for one of these challengers, but it pulls hard. So ask any questions down below and we'll see you guys on the next video. Also check out Steve's channel where you can see the full history on how he got this car, where he got this car and bringing it to this point as well. So I'll link him down below, check him out too, and we'll see you guys on the next video.